Hey there guys, it's Pip here. So I just wanted to shoot a quick video. So it's the 20th of March 2020 and we're being hit big time in the UK by the coronavirus, the effects of the coronavirus. Um, this last week the government have made an announcement on uh, Tuesday that it's going to, um, you know, that um, certain things will have to be shut down. Um, so I know a lot of cafes and things are closed because there's sort of a social distancing rule where we have to all sort of spend um, a metre from each other. Um, obviously that's not really happening. Um, I've got to wear gloves at work. Hours have gone down so I'm back on my 16 hour contract which is um, really awful for me because how is anyone to pay their bills and you know pay a mortgage on that. Um, I don't think people realise how bad this is. Um, I had a webinar with actually one of the top mentors who called sort of an emergency meeting so um, Jay called an emergency meeting um, for Wednesday night and he just said that we are in a recession because obviously we've um a recession is by definition two quarters of the year of sort of negative growth we just had the first quarter which has not been amazing because of the floods in february 2020 and now obviously this coronavirus that started in china um and then has pretty quickly within the space of a month swept through italy um which is in a lockdown at the moment um for i think two weeks um china is now recovering i hear um but it's now affecting the UK, so um, today's been very quiet in work. Um, we've not got any of the coach trips here in, in Bessicoid in North Wales. We get a lot of coach trips, uh, elderly people coming from um, the local town of Landudno. Um, but there's kind of spring break. That's not happening because um, people over 75 have been told to kind of stay in and stay isolated. Um, obviously, some people are, some people aren't. I'm supposed to wear gloves when cash handling at work. Um, I've seen a couple of people, not many, wearing face masks and things and, you know, I don't think people realise how severely this is going to impact them. I've had several emails off several companies, um, such as Debenhams, saying that they're putting certain measures in place. Uh, my Hermes won't deliver things to the door, they've got to leave it in a safe place. Um, lots of things are happening these supermarkets are obviously empty people are stockpiling like crazy it's absolutely mad and um, petrol's gone down because um this, this aviation is not taking off planes are not taking off lots of flights being cancelled and banned um so petrol price has gone down because they're still pumping the same amount um russia has said it's not going to stop pumping so petrol prices are good at the moment but um i don't think people really understand at the moment how badly this is going to impact them people are going to lose their jobs it's going to be like 2008 and here's what i want to say to you um if you are in this situation which we all are um so the first thing is now is a great time to seriously think about your future make um precautions to isolate yourself because it's not going to get better quickly um, I'm not trying to be the doom and gloom master. Um, there are good things happening. Um, I know in the US, uh, the federal um, has sort of the federal agency or whatever you call it has um, put a lot of money into the system to support businesses. Same in the UK, um, but they've also at the same time in the UK they've um, got ready the army reserves. What for? I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm being offered to switch across to Aldi for a temporary 10 hour contract a week to, to kind of boost my hours um, in conjunction with my company um, but it's not going to get better quickly people and you know I've had to um, pull my whatever's in my stocks and shares it is gone it is plummeted and there will be time obviously when stocks and shares go back up but at the moment I've just pulled everything out of stocks and shares um, Obviously, the, the indexes are down, the Dow Jones is down, the S&P 500 is down, the FTSE 100 is down, um, because a lot of companies are getting their bits and pieces from China, um, or they can't get them across because of restrictions, um, or people are just not going out to buy in the shops. Um, 
yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be mayhem. So I'll just give you a quick view because people are kind of some people are kind of going around their normal daily business, um, but I don't think people really get how bad this is gonna be. Um, it's gonna be mass unemployment, I reckon. People fighting for jobs. Um, in in Wales here at the moment, we're the right side of Christmas. Um, seasonal jobs are opening, but uh, and supermarkets are recruiting as well because obviously they've just been hit like it's Christmas and um, but without the the warning without the date being on there on the calendar to prepare for it um so yeah I'll just give you a quick overview because people are just sort of chilling so you can probably see some bikers and things a few cars in the car park that sort of thing um oops, sorry 